Hi everyone, my name is Anne. Thanks for joining me on Art on the Creek. We are venturing north today and I'm so glad that you've come with me. We are in Fort Collins at the gardens on Spring Creek. This is the city of Fort Collins Botanical Garden and it is fairly new. I'm very happy to take you here and introduce you to a little bit of it. Hopefully we've got some time before these storm clouds catch us. I look at this little watering can over here. Actually, it's not little, it's pretty big. That's over in the children's garden. So let's go in, shall we? Look at these flowers. This is just, we're not even inside yet with these poppies and this coleus and everything is just so vibrant and colorful. The iris were in full bloom. The yucca all over Colorado this year are just fabulous. But my favorite by far is this cactus garden. What I wanna to talk to you about today mainly though is how to be successful when you're going out to plein air. Here's some columbine. And if you've ever wondered, here's what it would be like to be a bee if you're flying through Columbine. <laughs> so the bees don't have to worry about the weather, but you and I do. When you're planning plein air, here's where I'm going to sit in the garden. I'll just give you a little panoramic view here and kind of explain to you what I brought with me. First things first, you're going to want to choose what to paint and take a photo of it. Don't forget your phone I, or camera if you use a, a digital SLR. Here is the reference photo that I have for you all, and it will be linked in the description. I just wanted to focus on the statue. In my painting, I did include the bandstand, but the photo will only be this view of the statue. So some of the things that you definitely need to bring, I like to keep it small. A small sketchbook, no bigger than five by eight. A pencil, eraser, some clips, some bull clips, or uh, those little jumbo office clips. Water for your paints a little cup to rinse your brush in, and uh, a backpack to put everything in. Now these paints come with two water cups, uh, the paint palette that I'm using rather. It is the Portable Painter Classic, and I really recommend something like that because you don't have to carry a separate water cup. Um, I've got a video that I can link to that features both the Portable Painter Classic and the Micro so that you can decide which one is right for you. I like them because they have quarter pan sizes of paints and that really is plenty. For yourself, you're going to need some things too. Don't forget a hat or sunglasses. Wear your sunscreen, bring your bug spray if that's something that you need. Wear sensible shoes. I knew I was going to be walking on paved paths, so today I just wore my flip-flops. But if you're gonna be hiking, you definitely wanna wear hiking boots. Bring an umbrella because you will wanna protect yourself from the elements. And that umbrella should not be a bright color. The last thing you want is the color of your umbrella to shine down and reflect on your work because that will throw off your perception of what you're painting and you might end up with something that looking not at all what you thought it was going to look like. You're also going to want a chair. I recommend getting a stool or a chair that's fairly light and fairly easy for you to carry or one that's very comfortable. The one that I'm using right now is a camp chair and it's more of a, a deluxe comfy chair than it is practical. So I do have a different one that I carry if I'm going to really hike on a trail. The other thing that you're going to want to remember is lower your expectations. Chances are you're not going to come up with a masterpiece. For most artists, Plein air is for learning. You will learn how to capture shadows. You will learn how to deal with the elements, how to change uh, your work pen depending upon uh, what the environment does. Those are the things that you wanna be able to do in plein air. When you're working from home, from your studio, that's when you can really focus on details and really hone your skills. But when you're out and about, it's certainly worth the challenge. And I hope you guys really get the chance to spend a lot of time this summer painting on plein air, no matter where you are, even if it's just your backyard barbecue. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye now.